I'm Lisa from Mitchell Salon and Day Spa in Hyatt Park and today I am going to put my hair up for you. Now a lot of women that have short hair or are considering going short have a lot of fear and concern about how am I going to put my hair up, how am I going to have different options of what I can do to my hair and I'm here today to show you that anything is possible as long as you have the right tools and a little bit of creativity. So. The look that I'm going to be going for today is one where my bangs are kind of sleek and we're going to put some back combing in it and really the, a look where there's volume on top. It's all an illusion what I'm going to do to my hair. So um, first thing I'm going to start with is my bang section. Now, like I said, as far as options, you know, I could put a braid in here, I could go back, but what I'm going to do in this case is put the flat brush to it. I'm just going to spritz it down just a little bit because I don't want to go with a completely dry texture when I go in with the brush. Now, the flat brush is an important thing to use here. You can use a round brush, but it's going to give you a completely different look. It would give you one more volume where this is going to give you something more of a swoop to the bang. To the face, look, so. I'm going to iron it over. I'm going to go to the other side, too. There is a smooth bang. Now, next thing I'm going to do is grab my teasing brush and go in and tease my hair. The first thing I'm going to do is put some dry texture in my hair at the base. And what this is going to do is create, it's going to create just a really good base. So when I put my bobby pins and teasing in there, it's going to hold really good. So. You know, you don't have to use much, but you can already see what incredible texture this product gives to your hair. And that's before I've even done anything. Okay, so next step is actually going in with a teasing brush and teasing. And I'm going to do this really throughout the head. Don't be concerned if you don't get these pieces down here. They're short and they're not going to go in. And that's okay because the look I'm going for is one that's really casual and unstructured. That's definitely the look that I want to go for. And as you can see, it looks quite ridiculous right now, and I'm okay with that. Let me do it. Okay. All right, and those sides a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to go on the top here. Just getting it in the direction that I want. Okay, so I got some good height going on back there. So next thing I am going to do is take my flat brush because I want to really smooth this and I'm going to put the back up as good as I can. Again, you can't really, these hairs are maybe an inch long, so you just do the best you can. And it's best when you put hair up, short hair, if you crisscross pins. I can't stress to you enough that you don't have to be perfect when you do any of this because it is a very casual look, very unstructured. Okay, so I got the back up, and if you look at this from the front, you know, the shape is kind of coming into play. So now what I'm going to do is right through the side, I want my sides to be, you know, a little bit flatter to the head. I'm going to pin that in. Do the other side too. At this point, I have six bobby pins in my hair, which is nothing. Okay, now, now obviously, look at it from the side. And from the front, I'm kind of liking it. But I know that back here that it's going to look like it has a big hole because I have short hair. So that's where hair accessory 
come into the mix and these are so popular right now and I'm so excited about it because it really gives us all different options and looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this, just this elastic band, and I'm going to put it in. I want to put it right at the right in front of the bang. And in the back, what's really cool is it took those really short half inch pieces and kind of just snuck them up. And then the next, I have this really cool clip. You're seeing a lot of these now, flowers and feathers and all kinds of things. And they're just a lot of fun to play with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right in that middle back there. I'm just going to play around with it. And um, then I'm going to take my spray to mode, which is a great working spray. You can still move the hair around as you use it. And I can't see, I don't have a mirror <laughs> to look at the back, but I kind of go by feel. I know I have maybe a piece or two that needs to be tucked a little bit. So a hairpin. And um, there you go. Change your lipstick, change your earrings, make your makeup different and exciting. And you can have different looks no matter what length, texture, or style you have. A little bit of creativity, the right tools, and you can put your hair up.